What comes can I think of you? Oh, Supreme Divine Personality. Suprabhatam Shishwagatam Katham Vidyam Aham Yogin Tuam Sada Parichintayan Kesho Kesho Ja Aveshu Chintyaha Asi Bhagavan Maya So, Adhyana now is trying to imply find out the objects or the persons or Maharishis or others on whom he has to meditate. Meditating on whom, here we have to reach the highest level of moksha. So he is asking Krishna, I want to know, Kesha Kesha Ja Bhavesha, on what objects, on what persons, and what particular entities, with what feeling, what is the types of feeling bhava I should have, which I should use for chitya, that I have to do, meditate on you. So, this I want to do that. Continuously, 24 or 7, I want to do that. So please tell me, on whom I have to meditate. So there are two dimensions. One is the Asuri Sampat, another is the Daivi Sampat. So all are manifestation of the same divinity. And if you start meditating, on Asuri Sampath, the result will be different. To start meditating on Daivi Sampath, it will be different. What is it? Daivi Sampath Vimokshaya. Nibandhaya Asuri Mata. He said. If you start meditating on Asuri Sampath, what is Asuri Sampath? Kama, Krodha, Rodha, Moha, Mada, Vatsarya, Anger, Greed, Jealousy, Hatred, Infatuation, Arrogance. You know, these are all these feelings, emotions on which you meditate, you get completely immersed in this, then what is going to happen? You are going to go down. You get unstable. You start getting stressed up. You start getting lost. You start getting suffering from various ailments, pain, misery and depression, all types of negative. And you go down the ladder. You suffer more and more, more and more. If you do, on the Asuri Sampad. Of Daivi Sampad, if you do that, it takes you towards the Moksha. Daivi Sampad Vimokshaya. It will take you to the highest level. What are all those good qualities? Helping others, serving others, magnanimity, forgiveness, calmness, and control of our senses, all these good qualities, if you start doing that. So, in the manifestation, in the creation, you have both the dimensions. There is the good and the bad. So you have to choose which you want to develop. Krishna says we all have the freedom. As human beings, we have been given that freedom to choose this way or choose this way. If you don't choose anything, normally it is this thing because gravitation has its own effect. It takes you down the train. But if you want to elevate yourself, from your normal level, you become great human being, super human being, divine human being, and reach the highest level of achievement. Then you have to choose the divine sampad. So Krishna is asking, what are those things on which I have to meditate? You know? And by meditating on which, I will be able to go to the higher levels. So this is the subtle question that Arjuna is asking the Krishna in this thing. Please tell me. Is it only one thing on which I have to do, or there are several things on which I can do that? Everything. So, Krishna in the later things is going to tell what are all the best things in the creation. Which is the best in the tree? Which is the best in the birds? Which is the best in the animals? Which is the best in the reptiles? Which are the best in the rivers? Which are the best in the mountains? Which are the best in the rishis? Which are the best among all gods and goddesses? The best. 
he indicates how I am going to manifest maximum in all these things. So there you can see dimension. That is what he is going to tell. That is remove the dimension in this thing. So here the main emphasis by Arjuna's question is where we have to go, in the direction. Therefore, we all should learn to meditate on good things and eliminate the bad things. What are the bad things? Parishadvar cause. The six enemies of man as we call Kama, Karma, Roka, Moha, Karma, Sarya. These are feelings. These are the power on which you should see that it is eliminated. Anger, greed, jealousy, everything should go on reducing day by day, day by day, day by day. Anudinam Tanuttamum Yavati. Parishat Vargaan, it should happen. Similarly, all good things should start coming up. Helping others, serving others, giving, giving, giving. You know, Prayam Bhava should come up. Therefore, the theme of this year, IDY, International Day of Payog is Vasudha Eva Kutumbakam. One world, one family. How can this happen? When we develop this Prayam Bhava, when we feel that we are all one, oneness. Unity is the diversity and we want to build the whole world as one family. That has been our greatest ambition of our ancient master. And therefore, this is the good term which we have to contemplate. Therefore, in the International Day of Yoga, this year the theme that has been chosen is Vasudha Eva Kutambakam. Vasudha Eva Kutambakam. That one world, one family. This is also the theme of D20. As most of you know, our honorable prime minister has been made the chairman this time for the G20 countries. And what we want to achieve in the G20 countries is to bring friendship, harmony, love, peace among one another. And all countries should work as one single family. Therefore, the theme that he chose is Vasudhai Vakram Bakam. And that is the dimension. So, this is the objective which we have to adhere to. Therefore, I am glad that all of you have started practicing the protocol, 40 minutes protocol, that all of you have started practicing regularly and our Dr. Vastai Vaidya, our deputy installer said, is going to have a big program here on June 21st, 9th International Day of Cuba. And all of us are going in different places. Myself and Dr. Manjanath are going to the Saudi, Riyadh and Muscat and also the Bahrain. Similarly, our VC, Vice Chancellor and Registrar, they are going to go to Germany. And similarly, our D, for spirituality, Dr. Jai Rama, he is going to Germany. So we are all going to different places all over the world. Similarly, many of our people are going to different schools and colleges in Bangalore. Many people are going to different you know, cities in the country. This is how we are going to spread this message. And this year our project is, the Ministry of Law says, we want to have 25 crores of people to practice. And the main thing is going to be in Jabarpur. But our Honorable Prime Minister has been doing that in the country, in different places, all the previous eight International Day of Yoga. This year, ninth, he said, I am going to go to America. And he is going to New York. And he is participating in the International Day of Yoga in a very big way in New York. So this is how he is spreading the message to bring all family members into one, to make a world family by bringing the International Day of Yoga, Yoga Common Protocol. This Yoga Common Protocol has been devised, developed very, very subtly, intelligently. It has all the four aspects of Nana Yoga, Raj Yoga, Sukhi Yoga, Karma Yoga. So you have to find out what aspect of Prana Yoga is there, what aspect of Karma Yoga is there, what aspect of Bhakti and Raja Yoga is there, incorporated into this certain program that we have developed. <coughs> this is the dimension you have to do. So you have to practice and you have to see this dimension, how they have incorporated. With this, I wish you all the best for this International Day of Yoga and we are all living today and we uh, show all the best for the coming week long programs that we are going to have. I wish uh, happy journey and uh, good luck and happy time, Guruji and all the
our uh, official team. Today, uh, one of our alumni has visited our Mitri Milan. I thought of introducing you, introduce you to all of you because his work is a very inspiration to any challenge. He is Mr. Hitesh. He, uh, he has completed MSc from our SVAS University. And now he has taken yoga as a full time career for his life. And he has started a, a, a VASA affiliated yoga center at Prasveshwar Nagar. And he is successfully running many, many batches. Specialty of his yoga is aerial yoga, or we can say anti gravity yoga. So, very special yoga he is running, and which is reaching the mass very well because of his innovative idea. So, that is the one every any generation has to take up and move ahead. So, uh, I wish you all the best from our SMS University. <laughs> the man of anti gravity has come, the earth has taken. Special gravity and flag aspect itself. Okay, so by your presence itself, flag aspect. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll finish by Shanti Mantra. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve.